Hello students, my name is Gargi and today in this video lecture we are going to start our chapter A Visit to Cambridge. So this chapter depicts uh, an interview which was done by Fidos uh, Kanga and the interview was of Stephen Hawking. So let's start the chapter with the summary. Uh, this chapter is an experience of the author Fidos Kanga in England. Cambridge University always had a great appeal to him but after an interview with Stephen Hawking uh, it became more appealing okay so Cambridge University as you know one of the most prestigious um, universities in the world so this chapter uh, has uh, was this interview that happens in the chapter was in Cambridge, uh, Cambridge University and uh, it was uh, done by our author Firdos Kanga and ye jo interview liya tha wo Stephen Hawking ka liya tha. So Cambridge University was something that was very close to him and uh, after taking that interview after talking to Stephen Hawking uh, it became more and more prestigious to him. So during a walking tour this uh, there he met Stephen Hawking. Stephen William Hawken was an astrophysicist and was a disabled person. So Stephen Hawken and uh, our author, they both are disabled, they both were disabled and uh, he was the successor of Isaac Newton's chair in the physics department at Cambridge University. He was the author of the book A Brief History of Time, the biggest bestseller of his time. So he uh, had achieved a lot by then jab tak ye interview hua tha at uh, tab tak by then uh, stephen hawken has achieved a lot in his life and uh, our author knew that right for those kanga he already knew that that's why maybe he was a bit nervous when he went to talk to stephen hawkins um, on being asked about his courage hawking replied that he had no other option than to be brave and accept his situation. So when uh, the author asked him that how can you be so brave and what happened, he, he wanted to know about his life, he wanted to know about his experience being disabled and so successful, how was the journey. So he said that I had no other option, I had to be brave because I had no option, tha hi nahi, right? He said that he was amused to see that people patronize him. Like he was amused to see. He was very amusing feel hota tha when he used to see that people used to patronize him. Ki unse wo sympathy jatate the and uh, he, they, people used to help him but wo unhe aisa bhi feel kara dete the ki he does not matter aur wo unhe thoda uh, you know low feel karwa dete the. So unhe bada amusing lagta tha when he, people used to patronize him. When Kanga asked him if he felt annoyed when people like him disturbed him, he replied yes with a smile. So, when uh, Kanga ne unse poocha, that do you feel annoyed? Jab mere jaise log aap ko aake, you know, disturb karte hain, annoy karte hain. So, he said yes with a smile. That means he did not actually mean it. During the interview, Hawken appears to be the most beautiful man in the world to the author. And when he was interviewing uh, Stephen Hawking, so he felt like he is the most beautiful person in the world. You know, his soul was so beautiful uh, when he talked to him, when he came to know him about his life, how everything happened in his life, about his journey. He felt that he has the most beautiful soul in this whole world. So, uh, Firdos Kanga also questioned him that it is that due to the disability, Hawking is not able to see human, uh, humility and kindness in the world. Hawking agreed to this with the uh, author. So, they both agreed on the same thing which was that being disabled, they cannot see the humility and kindness in the world. They are not able to see that because of their disability. So the interview came to an end with a piece of advice for the disabled and the handicapped people when uh, the interview was ending. So there is this you know advice for all the disabled people out there, uh, all the people who are not you know functioning properly. Uh, 
uh, handicapped people, he said that they need to focus on the good in them and not their disability. What was that message? That they have to focus on the, on the good things that they have, you know, on the talents that they already have, the natural talents that they have and not on the disability because if they focus on the disability, then it's going, uh, then it's not going to take them anywhere, right? And uh, that's why they have to focus on what they can do and, you know, embrace that particular talent or maybe that particular activity that they can do. They should not become over enthusiastic and should do only in which they are good. You know, over enthusiastic ho ke koi aisi activity uh, karne, start kar deni hai, jo shayad wo aage kar hi na paen, Right? And uh, if they fail, then it's going to be frustrating for them. Right? So that's why uh, interview mein advice hai ki wo jis mein achche hai, Usme hi unko kaam karna chahiye, they should not take uh, different things. Na? Uh, aisi cheez nahi leni chahiye unko apni life mein, aisi koi hobby nahi karni chahiye, aisi koi interest nahi develop karna chahiye, jisse shayad wo aage pura na kar paen. Jisme wo already achche hai, usse hi unhe embrace karna chahiye. After this, Hawking went into his garden. The author felt that his journey is inspiring as well as successful. And uh, after talking for almost what, 30 minutes, um, he, Hawken, uh, went into the garden and uh, after he left, Kanga felt that his story is so inspiring even though Kanga himself is disabled but he thinks that he is not that successful, right? Hawken has earned a lot, he has achieved a lot. That's why he thinks that his story is so you know, inspiring for all those people who are disabled, who are handicapped. And the advice that he gives is also is also going to be very helpful throughout through this interview. If it reaches all those people, all the disabled people in the world, then it's going to be really helpful. And he also thinks that his journey, he is so successful now. Uh, whatever he has achieved comes, it came through such hard work, right? So that's what he's trying to say that all the disabled people, uh, they should not give up, they should work hard and they will achieve whatever they want. Okay. So this was the summary of the chapter everyone and it's a very short uh, chapter. You can read it in from your NCRT books and let's do a few question answers. The first question is what endured the scientist to the writer uh, so that he said he was looking at one of the most beautiful men in the world okay so he says that he is looking at he is the most wonderful man most beautiful man in the world why did he say that the writer asked stephen hawking if he found it annoying to cause disturbance in his work without a second thought hawking quickly responded with a yes but he suddenly gave a one-way smile and this endeared the scientist to the writer the writer instantly felt that he was indeed looking at one of the most beautiful men in the world okay Let's uh, look at the next question. Uh, if the lantern is the man, what would its walls be? If a man is a lantern, then what will be the wall? So the answer is, if the lantern is the man, its walls would refer to the structure of the human body. If a uh, man is a lantern, then who will be the wall? Kaun hoga? Uski jo human body hai wo. Second question, what is housed within the thin walls? And what is housed within those thin walls? Light of the life is housed in the thin walls of the external structure. Jo bhi, uh, human body hai. Uske peeche, uske andar kya hai? It's the light of life. What general conclusion does the writer draw from this comparison? Ye jo comparison kiya hai, isse kya ek conclusion nikal ke aata hai? From this comparison, the author draws a general conclusion that the eternal soul is what each of us is. Everything else is just an accessory. Right? What matters is our soul. Okay? Because this external body, it's just a structure. It's, uh, you know, it's just a vessel. What matters is the soul. If you have a beautiful soul, it all it's all that matters. Right? So, and uh, the body is of course, it's just an accessory, it's not going to matter. 
okay so this was the chapter everyone uh, i hope you understood it and read the chapter from your ncrt books you will understand it uh, it's a very short chapter it's going to be you know over in 10 15 minutes and i hope the question answers are going to help you you can find the answers to the rest of the questions very easily in the chapter okay thank you